Okay, so one reason why we, we wanted to dedicate a full webinar today on, on SOC is because it's becoming a very critical um, chip here in, uh, in, in the car. Uh, you see here the, the value of these SOCs here climbing very fast. Uh, the total value for the total market for these automotive SOC was less than $5 billion in, uh, three years ago, and it's going to exceed $20 billion by 2029. And uh, you see here the average value per car. So in, uh, I've got some numbers here in 20, uh, 2017 here, it was about $25 of SOCs in average per car. On this last year, that was 79, it's growing very fast here. It's going to be more than $200 here of SOCs per car in average. On the, again, this is an average. Uh, you will have cars here with much more much more than this. 200 can be just the price of one single SOC for, for infotainment, for example. And in terms of applications, um, while in the past infotainment has been the, the main uh, driver for head units, for instrument cluster, we see ADAS uh, or autonomy becoming actually uh, in the near future the, the main applications, you have the main driver in value it's been uh, mostly, or today it's mostly for front view camera, but we see also autonomy domain controller becoming a big application, driver monitoring, recorders, etc. And then we are showing here an emerging one here, uh, which is a bit more difficult to classify. We call it cross domain controllers. So these are the new types of controllers emerging more for supporting uh, new types of architectures. So the connected gateway to support uh, uh, over the updates here of the electronics, and then the central computer um, already deployed, for example, by Tesla. So this is where we captured the SOC revenue for this application. So this was the brief introduction of, um, of what SOCs are and the general context of the total market. And then I'm going to now uh, drill deeper into the main uh, driver in autonomy, digital cockpit, on uh, centralized architectures.